Matthew, Brian, Shapiro. And at this moment, we are exactly 24 hours away from House of Glory Adrenaline. If you haven't purchased your tickets yet, there's still time to do so. Tickets are available online at hogwrestling.net and will also be available at the door of the show. That music can only mean one thing. The Crown Jewel Champion is here and he's making his way out to ringside. Tomorrow night, Ken Broadway takes on Leo Rush. That match will be for the Crown Jewel Championship. And a few nights ago, Ken Broadway took it upon himself to crash an event where Leo Rush was on the card to play a little bit of mind games with his opponent. Folks, this feud is heating up and it comes to a head tomorrow night. But first, it looks like we are going to hear from the Crown Jewel Champion himself. Ladies and gentlemen, the champ speaks about his upcoming title defense. House of Glory. Yeah, there's not a damn tag team out there that can step in the ring and do what we can do on a nightly basis. All the other tag teams are put on notice. If you want to be the best, meet us at House of Glory.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Ken Broadway, Matt McIntosh for the Crown Jewel Championship. the hardest working individuals in House of Glory within the last six months. Look at the names he's run through. Leroy Green, his his own boy Matt Travis, Leo Rush, and now he's got Matt McIntosh here tonight. I'm not gonna doubt, I'm not gonna deny the ability of cash flow Ken Broadway, but you gotta look at a challenger like Matt McIntosh as a wild card. Now I'm rooting for Ken Broadway all the way. I have several thousand dollars on this match right now because I had Ken Broadway against the field and I took Ken Broadway. Where are we going? You're going out, right? No. No, you can come, but I'm not paying for anything. I don't like you. I just happen to work with you. But McIntosh is a top-notch pro wrestler. You've seen him around the Northeast Independence, here and now in House of Glory, and there's Brock! Big shoulder tackle there by Broadway. Showing that cockiness right out of the gate. Leapfrog by McIntosh. Look at this. Drop kick by McIntosh. And a second one. And a third one. And the champion rolls to the outside. Smart move there. This might be the first time a lot of people have seen Matt McIntosh, at least here tonight at the Elmcourt Youth Center, but you're in for a treat. Matt McIntosh may be a garbage person from Jersey, but at least it's a dynamic wrestling. Springboard drop kick. Nice move there. He's got the champion reeling at Shapiro. You can tell right out of the gate, McIntosh is hard hitting. He is hard hitting. A lot of parallels between Broadway and McIntosh. The same kind of brash attitude, same hard hitting style. Is that apple going to fall far off the tree? Holy cow! Somersault plancha over the top. And McIntosh getting these plea beans here in Queens behind him. McIntosh giving Broadway a run for his money already in the early goings of this match. Crown Jewel Championship on the line. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, Ken Broadway takes on Leo Rush tomorrow night at Adrenaline. And if he gets through the bad apple here tonight, that match will be for the Crown Jewel Championship. Oh my God, did you hear that? Uh, that'll burst a blood vessel. That might have broke his hand. And Broadway like a shark smelling blood. Is taking full advantage. And Matt McIntosh goes an octave up, which makes his church choir audition tomorrow a little uh, little precarious. If he even makes it there after that. Broadway now in com complete control after that miscue by Matt McIntosh. And you got to wonder if Matt Travis not being here plays any role in how Ken Broadway prepared for this match, he knew going into tonight that Matt Travis would be banned from the building. Open hand! Open hand! Did that make him go a little harder in the gym, JD? Maybe. Broadway, to me, Broadway doesn't need anybody. He's that type of talent. Matt McIntosh, I'll tell you what, it gives Matt McIntosh even a greater chance of winning this match because Broadway you know, it has Matt Travis at, at ringside all the time. Well, if you had the opportunity to have a have someone of Matt Travis's caliber on your side, wouldn't you want that? Especially since you've been boys since all the way back. You take care of your own, you're loyal to your own, and that's what Ken Broadway is. What a stiff shot there by Broadway. Broadway has not let up on the offense since that big miscue where Matt McIntosh knife edge chopped the steel post. Wrist lock applied, Irish whip in the bucket. Broadway is looking fantastic tonight. Big neck, neck breaker down. He goes for a quick cover, hooks the leg, two. And Matt McIntosh gets the left shoulder up. And that's smart for Broadway to work on the neck, work on the spine. If he goes for that cash flow kick, 
Setting him back, give him whiplash. Makes his job a little easier as McIntosh takes is not in control. He's in the opposite of control, and he battles back. Back to a vertical base here. Battling back is McIntosh. Stiff shots. And look at those, look at the ferocity behind those elbows. Like we said, this guy is hard hitting. But Broadway seems to have just as much in his arsenal, that big leaping knee. Rebound, Yakuza. Big back suplex, picture perfect. And Broadway goes for a quick cover here. Two. And McIntosh gets the left shoulder up again. And now into a rear chin lock. Matt McIntosh trying to take the Crown Jewel Championship off of Ken Broadway. I don't think Ken Broadway at this point is ever going to be beaten for that championship, Shapiro. Every opponent that we've given him, he's beat. Well, Ken Broadway is in the best run of his young career. A lot of people watching, a lot of people scouting. But McIntosh, you know, he might be able to pull spoiler here tonight. I don't think he will. Yet again, I hope financially he doesn't. Several thousand dollars. Several thousand dollars. That buys me a lot of Guinness. Jawbreaker. Nice move there by McIntosh. Big atomic drop. And an Insiguri. The champ is reeling. Only thing holding him up is that turnbuckle. McIntosh now, momentum, leaping elbow. Stringing together some nice moves here is McIntosh. Irish whip reversed. Look at the athleticism, Shapiro. Super kick! And think, Broadway's on Dream Street. I think his jaw hit the light. The champ is down, crumpled up in a heap. In the corner. Unavailable to make that pinfall there. McIntosh follows up. Side swipes him with the kick. And now he's on the top rope. McIntosh going high risk. Beautiful drop kick. Sent him halfway across the ring and Matt McIntosh making some new fans here tonight. Cover. He got big altitude on that one. And a two and a half and the champ kicks out. Right now, if you're Matt McIntosh, you've got to figure out what's the one drawback that Ken Broadway has, and I can't necessarily find it. I've been looking for it, obsessively preparing for a Vander James eventual shot at the championship. But oh no, wait, Brian XL and Rob Blatt don't want us to win anything. Fireman's carry here. Broadway's trying to fight out, which he does. Waist lock applied. McIntosh holds the ropes there. Wow, what a big kick to the back of the head. McIntosh down. Wow! Into a backstabber! Signature Broadway right there! Killionaire combo by the champ! Hooks it! Two and a half, and McIntosh gets his left shoulder up once again. Had enough space in that outside shoulder to get out. Making this one close and contentious, JD. McIntosh blocked that cash flow kick. Big knee. Lifts up the champ. Fireman's carry here. Look at that! Sits him out, pseudo Falcon Arrow! No. Wow, the champ got out of that one, two and a half. Whipped him around into a pseudo F5, but sat out like if it was a Falcon Arrow or a Michinoku driver. Mixture of the two. McIntosh trying to get the crowd behind him here. The leader of the Apple Corps into the corner. Springboard senton missed. Landed on that shoulder, cash flow, kick! I'm making money tonight! One, two, three! We go and party in good brother! Ken Broadway retains, David Adams, make with the talky talk! Broadway stands 
as tall as the Crown Jewel Champion defeats Matt McIntosh. At this rate, I don't think Broadway is ever going to be beaten for that prestigious championship. As challengers line up, they get knocked down. You got to wonder if Ken Broadway will ever be bankrupt here in House of Glory. The action never stops, but we've got to take a break. We'll be back with more. This is House of Glory Wrestling. Brothers, the New York Wrecking Crew, versus you and anyone who's crazy enough to face us. And if you guys miraculously beat us, which I have a doubt, maybe then I'll think about giving a match. It doesn't matter who it is. At the end of the day, they're gonna get wrecked. And you can trust that. We now go to Rob Black, who has an update on the status of tomorrow's match. House of Glory management representative Rob Black here with an update about Adrenaline on May 27th. On May 27th, we will have ourselves a three-on-three -three match on one side, Brian XL and two partners of his choosing. On the other side, Evander James, the man who put Brian XL's father in the hospital and the man who pulled Brian XL out of retirement will team up with the New York Wrecking Crew. And those teams, three on three, will go head to head. If Brian XL's team wins, we now have a contract that states Brian XL will get a one-on-one -on -one match against Evander James at House of Glory High Intensity 6. But that's in August. May 27th, the NYC Arena in Jamaica, Queens. It's Brian XL and two men of his choosing against the trust on the other side. So it's official. Brian XL has until tomorrow to find himself two partners to go up against the trust. We will see two thirds of the trust in action up next as the New York Wrecking Crew takes on the Super Savages.
ladies and gentlemen, we announced it on our Facebook page a few weeks ago. Booker T will be in attendance tomorrow night. Do not miss your chance to meet the five-time World Heavyweight Champion at House of Glory Adrenaline. If there's one team outside of our Tag Team Champions, EYFBO, that has the most momentum in our Tag Team Division, it is the New York Wrecking Crew. Now look at this. Slingshot, backfired. And look at that, the New York Wrecking Crew now. Sandwich both Monte and Caveman off the ropes. Big double clothesline. The New York Wrecking Crew, you gotta believe, is in line for a tag team title fight. Blackman now, clothesline. Seaton follows up with that big splash. And Blackman, battering ram, right into the gut of Caveman. The New York Wrecking Crew looking dominant. Monte off the top. He got caught by Seaton. This does not look good, ladies and gentlemen. Blackman off the ropes. And look at that, Caveman. Caveman thwarted that double team attempt. And Monte now taking care of Chris Seaton off the ropes. And he throws Monte right into his tag team partner. And the big man Seaton. He is not afraid to fly. Ladies and gentlemen, Seaton off the ropes. Big suicide backfires. Right into his tag team partner, Caveman. Coming over, taking advantage. Chop there. At our last event, ladies and gentlemen, the team of Monte and Caveman were awarded a tag team title fight due to a fan poll. And they went up against EYFBO. That clearly did not please Matthew Ryan Shapiro and the New York Wrecking Crew. They feel they got slighted. And they're looking to show you why they deserve a number one contendership at the Tag Team Championships right here for House of Glory. Off the ropes here. Big kick right to the gut. Caveman. That headbutt. Lethal. Big neck breaker by Monte. Double team here. Wheelbarrow. Headbutt down. Caveman's going for the cover, but Seaton was on his stomach. And Caveman's Caveman think, thinking he won the titles. I don't think he knows where he is. They better turn their backs here. You don't turn your back on the New York Wrecking Crew. Double team here. Monte off the ropes here. Springboard. Backfired there. Beautiful awareness by Chris Seaton to move his partner out of the way. And a super kick by Blackman. Takes care of Monte. Look at this Goon Shapiro yelling at ringside. What a colorful character Shapiro is, but listen, he's doing something right. He's doing something right with the New York Wrecking Crew. And Seton now working on Monte. They got him cornered. Working on that knee. Beautiful move there. Taking away Monte's biggest strength, which is his aerial ability. Makes the tag to Blackman now. And he's working over Monte. Big back suplex. Elm Core Center jam packed, ladies and gentlemen, for New World Rising. And a lackadaisical cover there by Blackman as he knocks Caveman off the apron. Caveman and Monte really did put up a great fight against EYFBO, ladies and gentlemen. You can't take them that lightly. But I understand the New York Wrecking Crew's frustrations. Like I said before, they feel slighted here in a cover. By seat in a one count as Monte gets that right shoulder up. The unusual team. 
the caveman and Monte, a superhero and a caveman. Who would have thought? Now look at this, look at this dude, Shapiro, behind the referee's back, choking out Monte. And acting all coy in the corner. Big school slam by Seaton. Followed up by a heavy elbow there by Blackman. And they are just having their way with Monte right now. One. And on one count only, Caveman broke up that. Monte still in the Wrecking Crew's corner. Trying to fight his way out here. Straight rights to both Seaton and Blackman. He's doing his best. Throws Blackman to the outside. Look at the power trying to get Seaton up. To no avail. Ducks that clothesline. And a straight right hand. An uppercut. Temporarily knocks out Chris Seaton. Look at that! Smooth Blackman just pulled Caveman off the apron as Monte was gonna make the tag! And now Monte's back to square one, fighting both members of the New York Wrecking Crew by himself, and look at that! Backbreaker, dropkick combination. Blackman's going for the cover, and Caveman breaks it up again! New York Wrecking Crew keeping Monte cornered in their portion of the ring. Tag Team Wrestling 101, ladies and gentlemen. That's fundamental. Successful Tag Team Wrestling. Bad knife edge shot by Chris Seaton. And look at that. Some trash talking by Chris Seaton. Monte has been taking a beating. Needs to desperately make that tag to Caveman. The New York Wrecking Crew has pretty much owned most of this match. And Monte now trying to fight off the big man on the top rope. Some stiff shots right to the gut. Knock Seaton off the top! This could be an opening. Monte looking to fly. Big crossbody! Does he make the cover or go for the tag? Caveman's feeding off the energy here in the Elm Corps Center. And he makes the tag. Caveman off the top of the headbutt. We got a headbutt party. And Chris Seaton wasn't invited. Look at this. Double team coming up here. Wow! One, two! And Chris Seaton broke up that beautiful double team move. Combination almost of a cutter and a stunner. Seaton stunned. Caveman and Monte. Another double team move coming up here. Looking to lift the big man up for a double suplex. They can't get him. And look at the power of Chris Seaton. And he rolls through with Caveman. Monte's been taken out. Seaton looking to lift Caveman up. Suplex and that big kick by... Look at that. Blackman's kick did not work. The Wrecking Crew can't believe it. Blackman's got Caveman up. Seaton, full head of steam here. Big clothesline. Monte now. Springboard splash. Broke up that pinfall attempt. 
This one's breaking down. The referee can't get control of this one. Crazy tag team match here. And Monte now with Seaton in the middle of the ring. He got him up! And Blackman stops that. What do we got here? Alabama slammer by Chris Seaton. And Caveman now back in. They got Caveman caught. Monte! One, two, three! And the New York Wrecking Crew once again with Shapiro dominant. It looks like the New York Wrecking Crew is primed and ready for business tomorrow night when they team up with Evander James to take on Brian Hexel and his team. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, do not miss your chance to see House of Glory action live and in person as we return to Queens, New York tomorrow night as we present Adrenaline. We can guarantee you an unforgettable night as all the titles in House of Glory will be on the line. In our main event, the House of Glory World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as Anthony Gangone defends his title against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. But the belt isn't the only thing Gangone will have on the line that night. He also has a chance to put his name in the record books. As of this moment, the longest reigning champion in House of Glory history has been Brian XL with a reign of 245 days. When the bell rings tomorrow night, we will be in the final hours of Gangone's 244th day as champion. Meaning that if Gangone wins, he can sit back and count down the minutes until his name is officially placed in the record books as the longest reigning House of Glory World Heavyweight Champion. The House of Glory Tag Team Championships will be defended as EYFBO will defend their titles against Red Dragon, the team of Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Both of these teams have been red hot in recent months and both will look to keep the good times rolling as they meet for the first time tomorrow night. In a rematch from our six year anniversary show, Ken Broadway will once again put his crown jewel championship on the line against Leo Rush. If their first meeting was any indication of things to come, then you're going to be in for a rush.
team. Big double knee. Knock Monte out cold. And now they got Caveman. Poor Caveman. I don't know what House of Glory is going to do, ladies and gentlemen, with the House of Gancone. But this is absolutely ridiculous. You damn well know that they're going to play a huge factor in Gancone's match against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. How is Cody Rhodes going to be able to handle this type of threat? Take notice! Yeah, we take notice, and I'm sure Cody Rhodes is well aware of what he has going up against him tomorrow night at the NYC Arena. Anthony Gangone defending the House of Glory Heavyweight Championship against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. What a match that is going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. We've got some more great action coming up. This is House of Glory. HOG Live, Fridays at 8 p.m. on Facebook Live. Debut match against Matt Riddle. 
Bell is rung, and here we go. Matt Riddle in the traditional MMA shorts, and Cody Rhodes, as you know, in the green long tights and the white boots. Sign of respect from both men, and I may not respect many people in the pro wrestling industry, but these are two men that I have high regard for. And the plebeians here at the NYC Arena showing great respect to our competitors, evenly split here tonight. Quick testing out phase. Rear chin lock applied into a reverse. Trying to go for that reverse waist lock. Reverse belly to back suplex takes him down. And Rhodes fighting up to a vertical base, trying to pop out. Breaks it with the elbow into a wrist lock. Roll through by Riddle. Former UFC star trying to work on that arm now. Variation of a hammer lock, maybe. Once again into that reverse waist lock. Rhodes trying to break it now, working on the fingers, and you can see that there, maybe trying to break one of those fingers. Beautiful roll through by Riddle. He's called Deep Waters for a reason. He can't tread lightly when facing up against Matt Riddle. And we know about Riddle's background as a mixed martial artist, as a grappler, but Cody Rhodes also competed as a amateur wrestler. Working on the fingers now. Now we've got our first traditional collar and elbow tie up into a headlock. Now working on that rear chin lock. Pushed off the ropes. Still maintaining that chin lock. You can see a great 90 degree angle there by Riddle on both of his legs to try to keep that base. And that slide and a quick stop by Riddle. Body drop, but Rhodes finds a way to maintain that chin lock. Not the kind of wrestling you're used to seeing from Cody Rhodes, but he is putting on an impressive grappling clinic here against one of the very best in the business, double knees. Devastating overhand chop, nearly Mongolian. One more trying to bur burst the blood vessels of the grandson of a plumber. Irish whip now. Leapfrog, look at that, trying to go for that sunset flip. Rolls through on the cradle, hooks the leg, one, no. Sits out. Cody Rhodes, a student of the business. Quite literally, the a student of the sport of professional wrestling sitting at his father's knee as far back as he can remember while working at World Championship Wrestling. Riddle caught Rhodes with that springboard knee. And Riddle, dangerous inside or outside the ring. Here comes Riddle, slides through. And Rhodes caught him in the eye with a little bit of mist. Might have caught him with a cup of beer. Unsure about that, couldn't see it from the camera. Drives that head into the side of the ring, right near the base on that ring, which is all metal and wood, forearm to the back. And the crowd here at the NYC Arena want more than what they paid for. Reversal by Riddle. Riddle, Riddle's got a chair, almost went home with somebody's jacket. Oh, body slam onto the chair. And it's our main event, so the referee's gonna use his discretion. I usually am not a big fan of the referees here in House of Glory, especially Umberto weather pattern. But a smart move there by the official to make sure that this match does not end in a disqualification. And uh, Umberto weather pattern seemingly learning how to speak bro. Popped off that opposite rope and hit him in the head with that kick. And Rhodes, springboard, trifecta into that, cr that dive. Cody, 
vaulting off that middle rope to the top rope. Get rid of out there. Get it back in the ring. <laughs> Referee weather pattern imploring. That both men get inside the ring. Riddle looking a little worse for wear. Reversal by Riddle. Variation of a brain buster, almost a package buster. The way that Riddle accordion Cody Rhodes' body. Referees counted four now. Both men down. Riddle stirring, but Rhodes able to get onto his elbows. First man up here is going to have a definitive advantage. And devastating strikes. This is the way you want it to be. The fighting spirit of Matt Riddle. Driving those strikes, but Rhodes follows them along. Drives, buys right into him. Close line by Rhodes. Duck under reverse. German suplex. Rhodes landing on his neck. And you can look at the shock. An almost feral look in the face of Matt Riddle. Breathing deeply through his mouth. Looking unevolved. Seemingly going on muscle memory now. Dead lifts him up and now stomping on the toes. One of the disadvantages of Matt Riddle not being able. Beautiful disaster! Going for a backdrop reversal by Riddle. Dead lift German! When you talk about Riddle not wearing boots or shoes, better grip on that mat. For things like this, a gut wrench just tosses him down, rolls through. Riddle finding a way to roll through on the momentum. Back to the middle of the ring. Impressive strike by Riddle. Rolls through one more time. But can't get him up. Reverse waist lock now. Maybe going for a deadlift German suplex. It's like lifting up dead weight, just carrying sacks of meat. And Riddle taking Rhodes down with that suplex. It's all over. One, two, kick out by Rhodes. I don't know how he did it, but he was able to kick out. This your main event. Both men trying to prove that they are unbreakable. Riddle with the fireman's carry. Finds a way out of it, Rhodes. Up and over, blocks it. Crossroads, crossroads by Cody, cover, hooks the outside, no, one count only, how the hell did Riddle kick out? Drop back with that kick. Fireman's carry by Riddle. Variation of a go to sleep. Hooks the inside leg one, two, kick out by Cody. The second generation star rolls through. Two, kick out. Riddle is guard down. He hooked it, he hooked the ledge, one, two, three, it's over, Cody Rhodes! Matt Riddle let his guard down for three seconds, and that's all he needed. Matt Riddle got lucky once, but the second time he let his guard down, the sun, of a son of a plumber. The man behind a beautiful disaster. The man who left them all in the dust. Cody Rhodes walks out unbreakable.
ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us this evening. This is House of Glory. I am JD, and for my partner, Matthew, Ryan, Shapiro, join us tomorrow night for House of Glory Adrenaline. Tickets on sale at HOGWrestling.net. House of Glory Adrenaline tomorrow night, live from the NBA.